I think, you know, we were kind of raised in a culture where we we're a very kind of working class family, but our mom was always doing something for someone else, you know, trying to figure out ways to make someone else's life a little bit better, a little bit easier. So we kind of grew up with that mentality that, yeah, it's nice if you accomplish something, but it doesn't mean that much if you don't turn around and help someone else. So it's kind of my mantra, pay it forward. So if a student comes to me and says, thanks for being sure I got my certificate, or thanks for writing me a letter of recommendation, I always say, you're welcome, but you have to pay it forward. I'm Maureen. And I'm Kim. And we started the Mark Zinman Scholarship for special education. Um, I am Mark's widow. Um, Mark's degree was in special education and we were looking for a vehicle for helping others get their teaching degree in special ed. So over the 26 year battle that Mark fought with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, we saw so many changes and advancements in treatment that benefited him greatly over that length of time and kept him alive to see our daughter grow into a beautiful and caring young woman. That wouldn't have happened without the generosity of people giving to LLS. And it's really impacted our desire to give back. If you've ever gone to the Scholar Donor Luncheon here at Northeastern, you know, you just see the difference that a scholarship makes. It's amazing how even $500 will allow a student to stay in school when they might have had a dropout. And I think any time we have the opportunity to help someone else, it shouldn't even be a question. Um, you never know just how much one gesture can impact the lives of others. So to these scholarship winners, I say, you will pay it forward someday. We believe that. And that's where you will make a difference in somebody else's life. As I worked with the development staff at Northeastern, they told me it takes $20,000 to endow a scholarship. We would have five years to achieve that. We took our usual approach to fundraising, which was to have a party. We call that stuff party with a purpose in our family. We announced it in the College of Ed. We had a fundraising event at Howl at the Moon. As time went on, we sent emails out. We had a, another fundraising event. And pretty soon, we raised $20,000 in 11 months. Well, and I think the other thing that we did was we reached out to Mark's business partners. They all wanted to be able to honor his memory. But I don't think ever in our wildest dreams we thought we could do it in less than a year. Five years seemed like a tough stretch. And the, the best part is that Mark's friends and business associates, they were so cute. They said to me, when do we get, who's going to win the scholarship? You know, when do we get to see who the scholarship recipient is? People are just as happy to feel like they contributed to helping students be successful to the best of their ability. So it's a good feeling to be a donor.